Even if you've never been to Grossmoor National Park, you've probably seen its spectacular scenery in Newfoundland and Labrador's award-winning ads. The park is so unique, it's been designated a World Heritage Site. But CBC has learned that may be in jeopardy. The United Nations is raising concerns about potential damage to the park from fracking, the extraction of shale gas and oil. At issue are proposed drill sites at Sally's Cove, just 500 metres from the park. Vicodopia has the story. With its striking fjords and otherworldly landscape, Gross Morn is a glimpse into the Earth's primordial past. Deep ocean crust and rocks from the mantle lie exposed for the world to see. Along with Lanso Meadows, another UNESCO site, this is the centerpiece of tourism in western Newfoundland. So for some, oil and gas exploration is just not welcome. This is my 14th season. Every year is busier. I think the long-term economic benefits of having a beautiful, uh, protected area far outweighs what little oil they're going to find. Fracking has taken place on the west coast of Newfoundland before, but never so close to Gross Morn's boundaries. So close, UNESCO says it's concerned. It warns the project could cause shocks to geological formations, pollution, and threaten the outstanding universal value of the park. UNESCO wants to send a monitoring mission to Gross Morn to assess the risks. For its part, Black Spruce Exploration insists it's following a rigorous environmental assessment process. But recently, Ottawa's outgoing environmental watchdog warned fracking regulations in Canada just aren't enough. There is an unbalance um, and the risk of an unbalance between uh, environmental protection and an acceleration in, in natural resource development. There are now calls for Ottawa to boost protection for Gross Morn. We'll be recommending that a buffer zone be established around the park to make sure that it is safe from these kinds of development proposals in the future. It would be a move applauded by Jackie Hunter. It would be a tragedy to lose a World Heritage designation, in my opinion. So let's hope that, uh, you know, something good will come of the number of people who are um, quite verbally opposing fracking and gross mourning. UNESCO has delisted World Heritage Sites only twice before. The group says there's no risk of that happening with Gross Morn just yet. Still, when the World Heritage Committee meets next month, Canada's environmental policies will once again come under close scrutiny. Vicodopia, CBC News, St. John's.